All right, welcome back again, guys. Sorry about that. I had to just take a little break from what I was doing. Um, we might split this into two parts. So, uh, say it's part two of 11. Well, actually part 11 of part two, I guess. Anyways, you get the point. Okay, so we just got this really important key, and we are going to go back, actually, because I don't think there's anything going on in this apartment building right now. Um, yeah, bloody murder, because apparently that's old school stuff that happened in there. Um, you know what I'm gonna do though? Um, I'm not gonna go through this room. Holy crap, what the hell? Anyways, I'm not gonna go to this room, uh, just of, as of yet. Um, I'm gonna go back down to the superintendent's room, actually, to see if there's any more red papers that I need to pick up and bring down. Because... I just want to be able to, to get them and read them because, you know, storyline is awesome and uh, who doesn't like a good story? So... Okay, go. Oh wait, no. Am I in the right place? No, I'm not in the right place. I should be going the other way. <clears throat> this way. Right here. That's nice. Just stop reading the sign. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I can't hold anymore? Alright. Well, now I can. Cool. Is there any more? I don't think so. I think that's the last one. Um, I'm hoping that's the last one anyways. Is that that umbilical cord thing? Yeah, that's some weird shit right there. Alright. So we're gonna go back up, put the paper under the door, and then... I'm not the last murderer, that would suck. Um, this apartment looks like crap anyways. <coughs> yeah, she's definitely in trouble. Um, again. Ignoring the sounds and then... I didn't put it under the door. Uh, I, don't know. I was too determined to get to that door before actually going anywhere. <laughs> okay, so notice how mine's like the cleanest one. Okay, let's do this. go for the last paper that I found there. There's probably more around the actual whole entire par uh, bleh, apartment complex. I can't speak today. Um, but I'm just going at my own pace without having to heavily look upon a lot of things. I don't like to use game facts and stuff too often, but sometimes it happens. Yeah, this room, I've got to find it and bring it back. Let me think. The last place I saw it was... And I believe... If we go to the scrapbook... And that's how we ended up finding the other thing anyway. 
Alright, so we got everything for us, as far as I'm concerned. Um, do I need to drop anything off here, though? I got this. That's pretty cool. <laughs> um, uh, let's just do one full sweep before I go. Let's look through the window. What are people staring at over there? Oh, is that person naked over there? Like, what the heck? I... hmm. Interesting. I don't like how she's not there. There must be something really wrong. Um, and by wrong, I mean... She got probably pulled on to the other side, which is not what we wanted to have happen to Eileen, because she's... a good neighbor. Who I constantly stare at through a peeping hole in the wall. What's this old lady ghost about to do with it? Okay, let's go. Alright, guys, well, we're not going in that room. We're going in this room here. Because we got some issues to take care of. This is new. Oh. What is going on here? Yet. Um, guys, welcome back again. Uh, we wow, okay. Uh, we just witnessed something that was not cool, and I was told to go to the window, so oh shit, for her sake, I hope she makes it. not cool. Shouldn't they be suspecting, you know, the fact that there's, I don't know, a lot of people dying in this apartment building? You think, right? Oh shit. I just realized that. Oh, that's nice to know too. What is this is right? I'm gonna check your freaking apartment. So they took the victim to St. Jerome's, huh? Yeah. Hey, the bunny rabbit is looking at me. She had numbers in her back, too. Walter Sullivan copycat. Round three, huh? Well, they never got the scumbag behind round two a few years back. Maybe it's the same guy. Oh, what if one, two, and three? Oh, what if they're all the same guy? 
What the hell are you talking about? You know Sullivan killed himself. The weird thing is, there were no clues. Crime scenes were always spotless. No fingerprints, no fibers, nothing. Just the numbers. Two, zero, one, two, one. I've been a cop for a long time, but I never seen a case like this one. It's almost like, like they were killed by a ghost or something. Well, guys, uh, this bunny rabbit certainly is staring at me for some reason. Um, uh, there's this whole thing on my wall, which I don't quite understand myself either. Um, I'm gonna have to check that out soon enough. I'm just gonna do the tour of the room here. Can I access my TV? Really? No? I was able to do that before. Why isn't it allowing me to do it now? Are you yearning for that special place to spend quality time with your loved one? Do you need to relax and get away from it all? Come to Silent Hill for the ultimate peaceful getaway. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, no. Oh, that's... Oh my god. That's funny. I'm try staring through the window again. Ah, if it lets me. Well, there still are more people. Well, there's people fighting with each other over there. Can't really see anything else. No suspicious shady characters anywhere? I don't think so. Meh. Just gonna take a look at these notes, guys. To protect myself, he's truly insane. I can't hold on any longer. His power can be measured. Scared today that I sealed off the back of the storage room. What? I wonder if Eileen Gavin is okay. She has no idea what's going on. But she's in danger nonetheless. What? The storage room? What storage room? Ooh, the talisman again. I have a feeling whatever locked me in here is doing me the favor of making sure that whatever it is that's outside doesn't really get me. Um, and I'm not sure exactly what these talismans do. Um, nor these placards. Anyways, guys, we're going to stop here for today. Um, thank you very much for joining me, and my name is Ice Valkyrie, and take care, guys.